I was outside this weekend cleaning up some of the fall leaves and I noticed that we had quite a few pine cones. So I decided since there are so many in my yard that I'm trying to get rid of, I might as well put them to good use and make something beautiful out of them. So today I'm going to show you how I took my yard waste and about $12 worth of supplies to make this festive fall wreath for my door. For this project, I'm starting with a few free items. From my yard, I collected pine cones, gumballs, and a couple of pine needle branches. I'm also using a wire frame wreath that I already had, but you could get this from Dollar Tree. And some pretty ribbon I also had already. I got this from a garage sale a while back for just a few cents. The few items I did purchase came from Walmart. Walmart had some really interesting looking pumpkins that were pretty realistic and just $5.98 each. From Walmart, I also picked up this $3 bouquet of sunflowers along with a few pieces of these 97 cents fall picks. And I'll be using my hot glue gun to put everything together. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my wire wreath and my pumpkin. And I want this pumpkin to sort of sit inside of the wreath. Have half of it outside and half inside. So I'm gonna turn this upside down and I want to glue the pumpkin to the wire frame. So using my hot glue gun I want to glue where the pumpkin meets the wire frame. So I'm going to put glue on the pumpkin right next to where the wire bars are on one side and then I'm going to put glue on the other side of the bar just to sort of sandwich that in and make it more sturdy. So I'm gonna put more glue on the outside of the bar and also attach that to the pumpkin. Now these pumpkins are not very heavy. They're made of styrofoam, but I wanna make sure it's really sturdy and it'll stay on. Now I think I'm gonna put most of the picks around the base but I want to start with a nice foundation of pine cones. So I'm going to take my bag of pine cones and start gluing around the, the near the base, but not right at the bottom. So I'm going to put a nice bit of hot glue on the pine cone and stick it to the wire. Actually, to make sure the glue is touching the wire, you might want to just put the hot glue on the wire and then stick the pine cone to it. And the same way I glued the pumpkin, after I glue a few of these on, I'm going to let that dry a little bit and turn it over and glue the other side just to sandwich that frame in between the glue and the pine cones. I'm going to go all the way around in a semicircle and glue pine cones around the face and the sides of the frame. And for the little holes and spaces in between the pine cones, you can go back and put some gumballs and small pieces of pine cone. So now it's time for me to add my flowers around the bottom. I'm going to take my wire cutter and just cut individual stems and sort of weave those through the wire in the pine cones. And we'll just start with a cluster of sunflowers on the side of the pumpkin. Then I'm going to add a few of these fall picks on each side at the bottom of the pumpkin. And to match the color of my white pumpkin, I'm adding a few of these small white sunflowers from another little pick. Now I'm gonna take two pieces of the pine needle branches and put them right in the bottom next to the sprays right below the pumpkin. And finally, just to nest that large pumpkin in, I'm gonna glue pine cones around the base of the pumpkin. And here we go, this is what I have. And I really like this, 
but since I have a white pumpkin, I think I want to lighten up the pine cones. And you can use any acrylic paint with this, but I'm going to use my metallic pearl white. And I'm going to start with a really wet brush and just put a little on the brush and I'm going to brush across the pine cones with this light white wash. And I love how that contrast is bringing out the texture of the pine cones, but the white is making it a, look a little too Christmassy to me. So I think I want to warm this up by adding a drop of yellow and making it close to the color of the pumpkin. And I really do love this wash. It's really bringing out the texture and it's lightening everything up. And I think you could could probably do any color it would look beautiful in fact let's try a little bit of orange let's just add a drop of red mix that up make a light orange and just paint I'm gonna just try painting every other pine cone with a little bit of orange so we'll just have a hint of cream and orange in our pine cones and it's going to be very light this dries pretty transparent so it's just going to be a hint of color oh and by the way for those of you who have been buying my paints thank you so much and i know a few of you have asked if there was a way to buy the colors separately because you may use one color more than the others in the set so I am working on offering three colors that you can buy separately, but I'd like to know which colors you use the most. I was thinking about offering gold, silver, and bronze as separate products, but let me know in the comments below which colors you are using the most, and I will start off with those first and then eventually offer all the colors separately as well as the complete set. But as you can see, as it dries, it's very subtle, but you get just a hint of orange and cream. And because these are metallic colors, it has just a little bit of a iridescent glow. Adding a little bit of paint not only helped to lighten things up, but it's also given this whole piece a rich, bold look. Now let's finish this off by adding a bow to the top of the piece. I was lucky enough to buy a whole box of ribbon from a crafter from a garage sale. So I got this ribbon for just a few cents and the whole box for just a few dollars. And this color just happens to go perfect with these pine cones. This ribbon, uh, if you wanted to buy it, looks like it came from Garden Ridge for $7.99. So I'm going to cut a really long piece, long enough to hang from the top of the door and to tie a bow, maybe about eight feet. I'm going to fold the whole piece in half and I'm going to figure out how far from the top of the door to where I want it to start to hang and make a little indentation there. Then I'm going to push that ribbon in through the back of the wreath at the top through the wire and pull it all the way up to that indentation and then tie a knot right there. Then I'm going to take the bottom part of that ribbon and loop it around towards the front and then tie a knot in the front and then a double bow. Now I'm just going to cut an extra piece just to hang over the sides. I'm going to tie that around the bow, drape it down the sides and put a few bends in it. And now I am ready to hang this on my door. To complement my new wreath, at my front door I placed orange and white pumpkins and white, orange, and yellow mums. And to hang my wreath, I attached a little piece of wire to the top of the ribbon and attached that to a nail head at the top of the door. Now this wreath cost me about $12 to make, but even if you bought the ribbon the pine cones and the wire frame, it will still cost you less than $20. And that's a lot less than the comparable ones I saw at the craft stores for $50 to $80 each. But I love the way it turned out. It has a 
very festive look great for Halloween and the texture reminds me of turkey feathers so it's perfect for Thanksgiving it's going to be a great welcoming piece for my door throughout the fall season now you can get our metallic acrylic craft paint in eight shimmering colors available now at amazon.com Follow me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and Snapchat at Your Hustle Home and Your Hustle Home TV for daily home, food, and gardening tips.